Hello students, today we will learn about neural control and coordination. First, uh, moving further, to move further, we, will, we should know about neural system. So, our neural system is more complex. We will read the basics now. They are central, the neural system is divided into central nervous system. Central nervous system and peripheral nervous system okay peripheral nervous system the name itself we can able to identify central means the central dogma of our neural system the main activities performed here peripheral means they mostly um, present the edges of our body that means uh, the nerves okay uh, the central nervous system comprises of brain and spinal cord Basically, we will draw it as like this, the basic structure of central nervous system. That is the brain and the spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system spreads all over the body. Okay. The comprises of the neurons, the major function of their system. Okay. The peripheral nervous system is divided into autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system. Autonomic nervous system takes the information from central nervous system to our visceral organs that is the organs placed inside our heart inside our body like uh, kidneys hearts stomach like that so the organs placed inside our body is controlled by autonomic nervous system the organs uh, sorry the skeletons the skeletons placed at the edges of our body is controlled by the somatic nervous system be clear with this autonomic nervous system CNS to organs and somatic nervous system, CNS to skeletal system, okay. Then autonomic nervous system is again of two types because the somatic nervous system is voluntary action, controlling voluntary action, okay. While autonomic nervous system controlling involuntary action, what's that? Voluntary action. We voluntarily do that. We want voluntarily I sh uh, shaking my hands. But I can't control my beating of heart. I can't control my digestion. So this is controlled by what I can't control of myself is controlled by autonomic nervous system. So they are doing complex work. So they are divided into two. They are sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Most of the cases sympathetic nervous system excites the muscles and parasympathetic nervous system slows down what is excited is controlled by parasympathetic nervous system so this is not all the case but most of the cases like in heart if you see the beating of the heart the yeah the pressure is created by sympathetic nervous system and the control is created by parasympathetic nervous system the chemicals produced by the neurons are catecholamines uh, what are catecholamines? The adrenaline, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. Noradrenaline. From where they are produced? They are produced from adrenal gland, adrenal medulla or cortex. Yeah. Adrenal medulla. Okay. The hormones produced by adrenal medulla. Adrenaline and noradrenaline are called as catecholamines. So, sympathetic nervous system has neurotransmitters as catecholamines. And parasympathetic have our familiar one acetylcholine. So, this is about our neural system. And then the functional unit of our neural system is the neurons. These neurons also called as nerve cell. Okay. These neurons also called as nerve cell. So we will see the brief structure of our neuron. Uh, this is the basic structure of our neuron. So center we have nucleus. And uh, we have the organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, uh, Golgi apparatus and uh, other functional organelles over here. The main part of our neuron is here. And we have some granules called as nasal granules. Okay. I will tell deep about in other videos and uh, we have dendrites short dendrites in the cell body these are dendrites okay 
so these are dendrites and uh, this long part is axon okay this long part is axon in this axon we have myelin sheath the myelin sheath is produced by the sac1 cells so keep in mind myelin sheath is produced by sac1 cells the sac1 cells have nucleus so these are the nucleus of sac1 cells and uh, between these sac1 cells we have knots of ran wire and uh, the end of the axon uh, the divisions of axon uh, bulges at the end see here bulges at the end here we have vesicles that is the neurotransmitter content is stored here once the impulse is generated the neurotransmitters flows out okay so this is about our neuron we have types of neuron do all neurons have the same type of dendrites and axons no the type of neurons varies in various part of our body multipolar neuron multipolar neuron present uh, example i am saying multipolar neuron is the basic of this they have multiple uh, dendrites and multiple sorry one axon and multiple dendrites uh, they are present in majority uh, in cerebral cortex okay and uh, the second type is bipolar they have one polar here and one polar here like this uh, cell body uh, one axon and one dendrite like this if you take unipolar unipolar we have in the embryonic stage only not uh, while growing to adult in the embryonic stage we have unipolar one cell body and one axon like this one cell body and one axon in bipolar we have one polar of dendrite and one polar of uh, axon and uh, unipolar we have no dendrite only the axon where we have we will see this in embryonic stage uh, bipolar we will see in the retina retina layer uh, the outer layer okay and then uh, sorry middle layer is retina retina's middle layer is bipolar and uh, we have uh, multipolar neurons in cerebral cortex pseudo unipolar is a special case one cell body and one axon but divides into two so this is the condition of pseudo unipolar pseudo false uni one so one polar but false why one polar the arising is with one but it divides further uh, one reaches the central nervous system and one reaches the peripheral nervous reaches mean they function the central nervous system functions and uh, they do the functions of peripheral nervous system in this uh, types various types we have seen no unipolar bipolar multipolar the axons uh, varies how myelinated axons and uh, non myelinated axons in myelinated axons we have uh, seen something called sac1 cells this sac1 cells form a sheet over the axon like this so this is what myelinated sheet okay myelinated sheet produced by the sac1 cells the sac1 cells produce myelin uh, sheet with gaps so these are the gaps and uh, they are present in the central nervous system and they provide insulation risk biological they act as biological resistance to, uh, of our axon okay so what what this means uh, the inner fluid the axoplasm will not contact with the extracellular fluid only this part is able to contact with the extracellular fluid this uh, part is not able to contact with the extracellular fluid non myelinated she axons uh, what means the myelin sheath is not produced by the sac1 cells okay they form only the neurilemma neurilemma means the membrane of the axon this is what neurilemma and we will see this in 
autonomous and somatic axons what are autonomous and somatic axons i told you no autonomous controls the activities of our internal organs and somatic of our skeletal organs yes yes skeletal organs skeletal system okay uh, which part they belongs to peripheral nervous system so the head of uh, central nervous system is myelinated axons and the head of uh, peripheral nervous system is non myelinated axons so this is our introduction of neural system thank you for more videos subscribe our channel if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section